Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So today I am going to be cash stuffing my first week's income from the budgeting business. And I'll be cash stuffing $1,100 today. And also just a thing to note, um, it is a cash envelope week, but I won't be stuffing those this week. I'm going to actually use them on my credit card and pay them back that way. So if you'll notice, I have two sets of money here. This first set of money um, we're going to use for the 52, no, excuse me, the 100 envelope challenge. So we'll just sit that to the side until the end. And here is our cash breakdown for these funds. We have $1,100. Here's the breakdown. So it was, well, it's been, uh, today was the launch day for Baddies and Budgets again. And it's been a pretty busy day. Um, yesterday was 4th of July. I spent that time with family. So here I am today trying to get this cash stuffing done. So let's get into it. The very first thing we'll do is go ahead and go through our cash envelopes and see what we have left over for the week. Okay, this looks like we have a little bit of grocery money left. No gas, our shopping money, I know I hardly touched this. So, do we have, ooh, okay, balling. Look at us, we got lots of money left in shopping. Dining out, laundry, nothing. Okay, and so instead of stuffing these with cash this week, um, I'm going to go ahead and use my credit card. I don't really have a bunch of other expenses to use, and I try to get my credit card to a certain amount every month to pay it off. So I'm going to do cash envelopes, try it and see how I like it. So I'm going to sit this rollover money to the side until the end, and we will stuff some challenges with it. Okay, so next up, let's go ahead and get into our um sinking funds so very first up we have our barbie binder which says baddie because you know of course we're baddies okay all right so first up we have savings and to our savings fund we are going to be adding 110 dollars so let me move my budget sheet out of the way here so I can see better. So we're going to add $110. So our new total here is $1,000. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, So we have 2000 $199 in our savings fund. So it's time for a 1K slip in here. Next up, we have our retirement fund, which is our old IRA fund, but I just changed it to retirement. And to this fund, we are going to be adding $100 as well. <clears throat> so our new total, 100, 200, 300, 4, 5, 6, 7, 800, 850, 900, and 20. I don't think that's right. One, three, four. Oh, they were stuck. 500, 6, 7, 8, 900, 950, 1000, 1020. I have some new hundreds in here. So we will now be depositing $1,000 of this into my IRA account. And I'm probably going to do that tomorrow. So if I do it before I edit this video, I'll post a screenshot <clears throat> so that you can see. And that's that. So, next up we have debt. And to debt, we're going to be adding $50 as usual. Okay, so we're going to take a 50 here. That's our new total. 100, 2, 3, 4, 450, 470, 490, 510, 530, 550, 570, 590, 600, 610, 620, 630, 635, 640. Oops. So we have $640 in debt to pay off some debt. And I'm not sure 
which debt I'm going to attack first. Like I've said, um, I'm in the process of repairing my credit. So this will probably go towards paying a collection account. I was really stupid and irresponsible when I was younger. So I have two credit cards that charged off and I have some medical debt. So I'm trying to pay to delete those items off of my credit report. And if you'd like to know more about that journey, leave me a comment and I'll try to share as much as I can without, you know, putting too much of my personal info out there. So next up is New Whip. And to this fund, we're going to be adding $300. So there's one, two, and three. So our new total here, 1,000, 2,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 3,000, 100, 200, 300, 350, 400. So $3,400 in our new whip fund this one needs a 1k slip too i have to make me some more i've been selling them now so i hardly ever have any left over for me so emergency is going to be getting 25 dollars. so we're gonna grab a 20 here and a five dollar bill Okay, so in emergency, we have 1,000, 100, 150, 170, 180, 185, 190, 191. So $1,191. Okay. And I'm sorry if y'all hear fireworks in the background. Um, <laughs> where I'm from, they don't stop popping them until they run out. Like, the 4th of July was yesterday, and they've been at it literally for a week so family time we'll be getting $15 I'm gonna grab a 10 here and a 5 our new total here is 50 70 90 110 130 140 145 150 so we have $150 in family time and last up for this binder, we have medical, and this fund will be receiving $15. We'll grab a 10 here, and a five. Okay, so 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 400. So we now have $400 in medical. All right, so that's it for this binder. So let's head on over. To our next binder which is our newer uh, binder with our new funds and our condensed older funds so first up in here we have our miscellaneous fund and to this fund we're going to be adding um, $25 grab a 20 and a 5 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 190, 205. So we have 205 in our miscellaneous fund. This comes in handy when I go over groceries for summertime. We have a million groceries in this house, but you know, there's still little teeny tiny things you have to buy. So next up is travel. And our travel fund will be receiving $45. So 20, 40, and a five. So 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 55, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 92, 94, 95. So that travel fund is coming along pretty well. Next up, this new fund is my essentials. So I found that in my old binder, I wasn't using um, the clothing or what was it? Clothing or hair fund as much as I thought I would. So I went ahead and combined them because there were times like when I was in the store um, and I needed something and I didn't know which fund to pull it from. So there will just, you know, anything I need for myself, I'm going to go ahead 
and pull it from this fund. So to this fund, we'll be adding $25. So yeah, I combined both of those envelopes and I'll be using this for anything I need for myself, whether it's self care, if I wanna get a petty, if I need clothes, my hair done, it will come out of here. So 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, 550, 575, 90, 610, 630, 640, 645, 650, 652, 654, 655. And so I found myself kind of neglecting myself because there was nowhere to pull the money from. And I didn't want to use miscellaneous money. So, you know, self-care is important and I need to take care of myself or I can't pour into the people I love. So this fund will ensure that I can do that when I need to. So gifts will be getting $25. And so I combined birthdays and gifts in one fund because there was just no sense in me having both. Um, I don't have that much family that I really shop for like that. So one fold, um, one fund works fine for me. 100, 200, 250, 300, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 470, 490, 510, 520, 530, 535, 540. So we have $540 in our gift fund. Next up, we have Christmas. And to Christmas, we'll be adding $20. So, in here we now have 100, 150, 170, 190, 200, 210, 220, 230, 235. So, $235 towards Christmas. Um, up next, we have Rico, and he won't be getting any money today. Car maintenance. So, this fund will be adding $30. And so I don't have a new car yet, but I'm just trying to plan ahead um, for when I do get one. I've been looking y'all and there's like nothing on the lot. And I was like interested in this Toyota 4Runner, but all the used ones I found are still like $49,000 and absolutely not. Like I can buy me a house and Airbnb it and make residual income. I'm, I'm not buying a $50,000 car. So next up is car insurance. And to that, we'll be adding $50. Like, no shade if you have one, but I'm just in the part of my life where I'm trying to catch up and be, you know, financially free. And so I'm not going to be car poor. Like, that's crazy. 50, 60, 65, 70, 75 in our car insurance. And so I'm on my dad's plan and we pay every six months. And like I said, I don't have a car yet, but why not start putting money up for that? Okay, so next up we have boobies. And to boobies, I'll be adding $10. And if you don't know what this is, this is for um, funding uh, breast reduction because I'm a little heavy in the chest area <laughs> and my back is tired of it. So 10, 15, uh, 17, 18, my back is real tired of it. So we're gonna slowly save up for that. I'm hopefully gonna be able to do it for myself for Christmas, um, once I get my car fund stuffed, this is the next one I'm going hard for. And last but not least here, we have bills. And two bills, we are going to be adding $50, I believe. So I took all the money out of here today to pay Sprint and um, another bill. So, right, 50 bucks, I believe. I may add one more 20, I'm not sure. I have to check to the end and see. I was all over the place budgeting this check. So last but not least here we have our savings challenges. And the first one we are going to tackle is our 52 week. And this week we will be adding $175. So $150.75. So we're going to add $175 in here. Okay, and so I have $30 left over, and I do believe I wanted to put that in bills. So let me go back. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my bill fund. Okay, so next up 
in our savings challenges we are going to do our one dollar savings challenge so we're going to pull this rollover money from my wallet and i'm going to take the ones okay and we are going to add these to our one dollar challenge and i need to count this this week because once it gets to one hundred dollars i like to go ahead and um bundle it up and put it in a safe next up we have the five dollar savings challenge to this one we're going to be adding two five dollar bills and again i did the same with this one once it reaches a hundred dollars i just go ahead and put it away and so next up we have some newer challenges so i saw there's a lady i really like to watch um, her name is Natalie, I believe, and she had a $10 savings challenge, but because, uh, excuse me, but of course, because I'm a business owner, I went ahead and made, <laughs> made my own, um, so that I could track it. Cause I like all my stuff to be cohesive. So to this challenge, we are going to be adding four $10 bills. And so this, um, totals up to about $500 once you, um, add all of the tens and this is just an easier challenge um for rollover money or when i do side hustles and i have a little extra this gives me a place to put it because if not i tend to be like "Ooh, what can i buy what can i get and i'm really trying this year to save 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 so this challenge just ensures that that little extra money that i go spend or buy a snack or buy you know whatever a game or whatever for the kids and ensures that that money has a place so we filled in four of our little lips here and so we're going to go ahead and add four ten dollar bills to our ten dollar challenge and i'm sorry if my lighting is crappy y'all i'm having to film this at night and so it's kind of dark in here okay and so that's it for our savings binder but we still have one more challenge to do. So our last challenge here is our 100 envelope challenge. And so I took y'all's suggestion and went ahead and pre-picked the numbers, had the kids help pick them or whatever. And so I got the totals for them and I went and got the cash. So let's go ahead and lay the cash out. So there's our money. Here's the money I pulled from the bank. So we're going to be stuffing a total of $315 in our 100 envelope challenges today. And so the first number I pulled was 92. So 50, 70, 90, 91, 92. We drew number 72 so we have 50 70 71 72 Okay, so next up we drew 53, so 50, 1, 2, 3. Next up we drew number 35. And we got number 29. 
Then we got number 14. And our very last number was 18. I'm left with $2 left over. So we're gonna go ahead and take these seven that we stuffed today. And we are going to add them to our envelopes here. So I just keep them kind of bound in a rubber band here. So they're not all over the place. Okay, and so here are all the ones we still need to stuff. So that's that. I hope I colored in the last one. If not, I'll go, <laughs> go back and do it after I edit. <clears throat> so that's it, y'all. That's all I have today. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you enjoy my channel. I'm going to try to sit down this weekend after I pack orders and um, pick a winner <laughs> for the giveaway. I know there's so many of y'all who just recently started engaging with my channel and everybody wants to win but I'm really looking for people who have been consistent I feel like those people sometimes get looked over um, especially when people announce giveaways you know it brings out the masses so I'm gonna try to so I just want to be sure that I appreciate the people that have you know support me regardless or not if they're gonna win so um, you know who you are and I'm being really diligent about looking through older videos and comments that were posted before I started talking about my giveaway and people who you know I'm a lookout y'all so this won't be the last of the giveaways as we reach more milestones we'll have different giveaways for different people so Thank you so much y'all for watching. Have a good day. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, also, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. If you know, you feel like it, if you enjoy or are looking for anything that I sell, Instagram is the place to be because I always announce their first um, new launches. So thank you so much for watching y'all. Bye.